According to family and friends, the 47-year-old Josphat Gidhinji Kindoini was in the company of two other friends when they were caught up in the ongoing curfew and were allegedly assaulted by security guards in cohort with the police officer. Elizabeth Nyagudhi, the deceased sister, recounts how she was informed of the attack and on arrival at the scene found that the deceased had been rushed to Nyaururu County and Referral Hospital. In fact, hata tumewasha mama yetu hapo mzee, amesitwabia tukibie huku, tujue na ndugu zetu, sasa tunaoba ikiwa kuna uwezekano sheria ishikuwe mikononi ishikuwe mkononi juu hao alichukua sheria mikononi na wanasema ni juba tu alikuwa na dai tu kulala Josphat Gidhinji Kindoini is said to have succumbed to injuries while undergoing treatment at Nakuru Hospital where he had been rushed for specialized treatment Nyandarwa North Sub County Police Commander Timon Odingo said that investigation were underway, noting that the three suspects, including the police officer, were in police custody. The police boss noted that the three will be arraigned in court for causing death. Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel One News.